An electric fence system is made up of three components, the energizer, an earthing system, and the fence line. If any one or more of these components is faulty or defective, then the whole system will be defective. For an electric fence circuit to work, the circuit needs to be closed. This is why a bird can sit on the wire and not get shocked, because the current is not going to ground. If a bigger animal touches a fence, it closes the circuit, and the current can now travel through it to the ground, where it gets picked up by the earth spikes and back to the energizer, completing the circuit and resulting in the animal getting a shock. Different ground conditions can affect how effective the electric fence circuit is. If we are running a fence in a high rainfall area, where the soil is moist and the grass is lush, making it a better conductor of electricity, then something as big as a rhino can get a sufficient current through it back to the energizer, resulting in a powerful shock. In drier areas, where the ground conditions are less favourable to conduct electricity, then we would have the situation where a rhino could test the fence, but because the current struggles to get back to the energizer through the dry ground, the rhino will get a weak shock that is pretty ineffective to a large animal like this. To help improve the circuit, we add in a neutral earth return wire. The rhino, having not been stopped by touching the live wire, might push forward and ends up touching the two wires, live and neutral, simultaneously. The current will then return more effectively along the earth return back to the energizer, resulting in the rhino getting the full force of the shock between the wires, stopping him in his tracks. For more information, go to our website, or you can find other videos on our YouTube channel.